Well, at least that's finally done. Welcome back to the Dark World. <laughs> yep. Yes. We're out of the boring and hard to navigate and boring again first dungeon of the Dark World. And we almost immediately get hit. Can we demand a <laughs> refund from that monkey? No, Kiki has run off with our money because he is a smart business monkey and knows when he rips people off, he should scurry. <laughs> I wonder what he spends it on. Yeah, probably booze. It's always that, isn't it? Of course! I mean, they had to save his save Dark World brand enough. bananas? Oh, those golden bananas that caused the DK to hallucinate so bad at the end of Sunken Country Returns. <laughs> it's part of the illegal banana trade. You never know what's in those bananas. Did you know that that's actually a thing in a video game? No, I didn't! <laughs> in the game Final Fantasy Legend 2, there is a town where this plot is all about, like, a drug cartel or something, except for whatever reason in the North American translation, they changed it to bananas that were illegal. <laughs> wow. That's your fun fact for the um. day. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's just... You are appropriately speechless. I'm also appropriately speechless since my past sounds foolishness towards bombs. <laughs> so risky. That geez. blast radius kind of lies. <laughs> Speaking of bombs, go this way. <laughs> so, Link's house became a bomb shop. How appropriate that the Dark World relation of him is the key to all destruction. I suppose that is true. <laughs> I mean, it's a house that's geared around just destroying things, and that's what he does every time he goes in people's houses. Pretty much. It's a secret to everyone. It's a secret that to everyone a why you secret. actually need that money. But... Oh look, even more money that you literally can't <laughs> carry. I just want these chests open! <laughs> <laughs> this was before the... The strict wallet. I can't carry it, I'll put it back. No! The marker will be there forever! <laughs> <laughs> this game doesn't even have that feature. Well, this is true. That didn't pop up until Link's Awakening. <laughs> so hey, this looks identical to the thing in the Light World, so, so this, you know. Yeah, so it's gonna be like, what, three rooms long? Yeah. Yeah, well, just to be safe, let's go check on the Light World one, make sure nothing's changed. Well, someone brought all the water back after you drained it. That won't do! That won't do at all! Let's fix this! I almost forgot you had to do this. I'm, I'm pro at pulling levers, so much so that I missed it the first time! One <laughs> <laughs> of the videos where I make fun of myself constantly. <laughs> Uh, by the way, you have to use the magic mirror there, because if you use it on any other screen, the water will return. Yep. And what happens if you don't do that? Well, then this part doesn't actually have water in it, and Sakashvela tries to tell us what to do. Oh, I see. Get out of our heads, salt and pepper! <laughs> oh! I like it in there! I'm an old person, and thus I want to talk to you all the time! Don't you dare put that phone down! I must tell you about my day, <laughs> and about the... About the exciting checkers match I had with the old man down the street. Oh dear. <laughs> I am Sahasrela. Ask me about my grandkids. <laughs> oh, my grandchild is the smartest woman in the world because she's the daughter of the wise people, and everybody knows your brains transfer down in hereditary. That's why Link <laughs> never has a voice. <laughs> Does that mean everyone in his family has giant, bald cone heads? Thankfully, no, but apparently they do have long hair. That, that, that's what they have. The cone head is a recessive gene, you see. <laughs> Maybe when they get old. <laughs> so anyway, this is what, the Swamp Palace? Yeah, and I definitely blocked that fire shot right there. <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, it's kind of funny when you swing your sword and then block something with the shield hanging out behind you. <laughs> Still don't think this really counts as a swamp. So here's a question. As long as I have other people here, does it strike anyone else odd with as ubiquitous as they seem to be in video games that six generations in, Pokemon doesn't have an electric jellyfish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't 
one of them learn an electric move at least? Maybe? I don't think so. For some reason I feel like the ghost jellyfish can learn some random lightning move. But I could be I think wrong. I specifically looked that up and they can. Oh, well. Well, we've long since established that Game Freak's really strange, so... <laughs> Pokemon, the one game where the jellyfish are the proper element, maybe. <laughs> also, the switch for draining the water in this palace totally looks like a huge key, you know, just just to give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must, you must push on this way, and what are these water bug things anyways? They almost look like snake heads. Um, I think they're supposed to just be, like, highly mutated, those, you know, pond skimmer things. Like, uh, like what Surskit is. Yeah. Yeah, that's about the only one that makes sense. One of the things about Link to the Past is some of the sprites are a little bit vague. That's okay, it makes it more interesting. <laughs> I mean, I guess they can't really do much about that. And so by doing a loop de loop we get a compass! Hooray! Definitely a necessary dungeon item. Definitely. Oh, the big treasure chest in the middle of the room is taunting us. You know what the best part about this dungeon is? Yes, it is. What's that? The best part about this dungeon is that this is the closest the game gets to a water temple. And it's not really even uh, this close. This is a fair point. Oh god, our favorite sound. There it is. <laughs> I, always, I still think that's <laughs> funny when that happens. Okay. Clack, 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 clack. It's just so rapid, one cannot imitate that noise. <laughs> oh, but we must free it from its constant torture of ricocheting back and forth at hyper speeds. Okay. okay, a game mechanics question that I have to ask back there. That fire snake that positioned itself right in front of the door, is that another of those things that if you go through that door again, are you going to get torched? <laughs> um, thankfully not, as long as you go far enough away from it. That's the big thing. It will forget where that's uh, like where the fire bar is if you go far enough away. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It actually. Oh, it doesn't matter position. anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reset position. Now, um, doing what I just did, we're gonna see that that was a mistake. It'll take a little while, but we'll see that it was indeed a rather costly mistake. Mistakes are fun. What happens when I don't take the time to properly memorize somewhere before I keep on trying to do a no damage run? Also, these little... I kind of call them ice clumps, since that would make more sense than a water bubble. You can destroy yeah. them with your sword, but they are rather treacherous. Also, the dear god, this room! This, this is kind of a busy room. Yeah, this is the room that doesn't want you to live. Yeah, th <laughs> this one! This was the room right here that ended all the rest. Ah! That definitely worked! <laughs> No, everything is okay, nothing is ruined. It's just it's just for rupees, but whatever. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Now we gotta do it again. <laughs> Still worth it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it. Totally worth it since you can't carry them. <laughs> Pro block! Definitely intentional. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jeez! <laughs> I hate this room! <laughs> By the way, look. And here's the problem. Oh. And the game extremely trolls you for taking that shortcut. If you take that shortcut, it's just a little laughs in your face, and here we go. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Gotta walk all the way. Oh, dear God, this music when it's sped up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that I've made that same mistake before. It's really easy to make because the shortcut's right there. It's all like, hey, hit this color block. It's totally going to be helpful. It serves no other purpose than to troll you at that one moment. See, even back in the past, Nintendo still had some dickish game design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One more time! Yeah. Terrifying. That time, that time I did the sideways shield block intentionally, actually. <laughs> Just because I figured it worked the first couple of times. And now that we came back with to the most annoying noise in the world, we get the big key! Hooray! Big key isn't actually Sounded that like much it was going larger even faster. than a regular key. I mean, 
was oh I know why it must have been going faster it's because it was rebounding off the edge of the screen instead of the block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. seems plausible. The sprite mechanics are weird in this game, but whatever. <laughs> yep. That 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 flame player really likes to get in the way of the door, but anyways. Time to finally get this thing. The hook Boing! Shot. You got the Boing. hook shot, Boing! <laughs> I used to think it was the hookshot's one of those items reason. that I wish it really existed. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like, I need to get to that tree over there. <laughs> By the way, those uh, statues in front of the chest, not like the, the ones on the same platform, but the ones with the tongues. Mm -hmm. Can't you pull the tongue on those? That comes up in a later dungeon. I think in some cases. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't sure if you could do it in this case or not. The hookshot is very useful because it's the easiest way to deal with the electric jellyfish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, the stuff at the right side of the room, we have absolutely no purpose of being there. So I'm gonna go over there anyways. <laughs> well, of course, you gotta of show everything. You gotta kill everything. <laughs> you gotta almost get hit by everything. <laughs> that, that totally worked. Yeah, this is like really not exactly a reason for it. Well, okay, maybe this is the right way. I my memory's kind of foggy on this bit. Okay, it is the right way. So that switch door serves no purpose. Hooray! I, I guess you go through all the effort to push that statue on the switch, and it leads you to the wrong side of the key. <laughs> well, with the water drain, we can continue because Link can't swim underwater. He can just swim on the top. I kind of wonder why. Water level manipulation is such a common game mechanic. Because yeah. it lets them showcase just how terrible the swim controls are. I guess. Yeah, Link does not steer very well in water in this game. Hey, but you didn't know about this treasure chest. Um, probably not, no. That's pretty dang arbitrary. Yeah, kind of. Also, there's, of course, there's something behind the waterfall. There's always something behind a waterfall. Naturally. So you know how I was bringing up before why I wanted to get the Quake Medallion? Uh huh. Yes. Because there's basically nothing else you can hit these jerks with. Oh uh -huh. yeah. And trying to swim against the current with them in the way is extremely risky. Does that clear out the whole room or just what's on screen? Uh, just what's on screen. Unfortunately. So we do have to use it one more time, just not right now. Oh no, we have to cause mass destruction more than one time. Yeah, and in that, that enemy should feel special. It's used just for that one last snake water bug thing. Also, I guess they kind of expect you to do that because they give you an entire medallion usage worth of magic right there. Just demonstrating that you can't attack it because vertical height. I was sense. just about to ask about that. <laughs> Yeah, I figured it'd come <laughs> up, so I took a couple swings at to show it's considered on the lower section of you, so time for the boss. Hello, boss. Delicious cotton candy! Yep, and about that cotton candy, so... The little blobs that you can grab off of the boss here. If you grab it while facing upward, it will hit you if you stand still. If you grab it from any other oh, direction, you can actually attack safely. Well, alright then. Isn't this guy <laughs> named Argus or something like that? Something like that. But yeah, that's that's one thing that caught me off guard when practicing is three of the directions, it's perfectly safe to just swing your sword after using the hook shot. You grab it from below him, you have to move out of the way because of how it overlaps your sprite. This guy's totally threatening, you guys. This is definitely the hardest boss in the game. Yep, definitely the hardest boss in the game. You completely interrupt him if you hit him before he even starts moving. <laughs> Hardest boss in the game! <laughs> so difficult. <sighs> I, I, he stole all his cotton candy, he's upset. Well, you can go be upset anywhere else. That stuff is really tasty and I want it all for myself. Man, cotton candy is literally the dumbest boss in any video game ever in Yoshi's <laughs> story. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a very important main. She's gonna, she's gonna say something that I never even realized for the longest time. Okay, she looks like- Lady MacGuffin number two! She looks pretty similar to the first one. Oh 
I know, the old wise men, they have the problem of all looking exactly the same, so their daughters suffered the same thing. Right for his grants wishes, okay. Blah 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 blah. Some point knowledge was lost. She goes over and was Ganondorf, the evil thief! Hey, Link, dun, did dun, you dun. watch the intro to this game, or did you just skip it? So, yeah! I never actually realized that as early as Link's of the Fast, they were referring to Ganon as Ganondorf in his slightly more human-esque form. So, I was a little bit surprised, because, you know, I normally mash through these, I never actually bothered reading them, so now <laughs> for the playthrough, I give people reading time, it's just all like, oh, damn! Ganondorf, the Ganon. thief! No, Ganon, the king of darkness. More like <laughs> Ganon Dork, am I right? <laughs> Ganondorf, Ganondorf. <laughs> oh, next time we go to possibly an evil place, but we'll see what I decide. A more interesting dungeon.